guys welcome back okay so today I am playing in my nomad this is my Tokyo palette and it is really really gorgeous you guys this is what the palette looks like there are 15 shadows in here it is cruelty free and has a 12 month shelf life it does include a mirror and as you can see there are some absolutely gorgeous pastel shadows in here this palette does have matte shadows as well as five unique toppers. So they're beautiful shimmer shadows, but they kind of have that sheer topper look to them. They're so, so pretty, you guys. Now with these mattes, they are so smooth and creamy, nicely pigmented. I mean, and for a pastel type palette, it's so, so nice to have shadows that swatch and perform the way that these do. Very, very gorgeous. But as you can see with these shimmers, they're very pretty, but they are toppers. So you can kind of see the shift in them as I move my arm, but it's something that you definitely have to see in person. So let's go ahead and get started with this look today. So of course, I have a bare face <laughs> as usual, and I'm starting out by actually filling in my brows with my LA Girl Shady Slim Eyebrow Pencil. You guys know this is my favorite pencil, so I'm always using it, and I'm just filling my brows in like usual today. And I'm just gonna brush out the front part of my brows so that they aren't blocky or choppy. And to clean up around my brows as usual, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Concealer. This is the photo focus one and I'm just going in with Deep Cocoa just to clean up, make sure my brows are nice and neat above and below um, where I filled them in. Now for my base today, you guys, I'm using my P. Louise base once again. I really, really like this. Um, I have the shade Rumor 04. And so I'm just tapping that all over my lid with a kind of like a flat brush just to kind of get a nice even base for this eye look today. So to start out this look, I kind of want it like just one main color so I chose this beautiful purple in here you guys I am not going to try to pronounce these names because I will completely butcher them so this is the purple matte shade and I'm just going in with a fluffy brush you guys see that pigment I mean I dipped into this palette <laughs> one time and this is the pigmentation I mean it is so so pretty and for these to be beautiful pastel shades I'm very happy with that now I wanted to blend out the edge of that purple a little bit better, so I decided to go in with this lighter, kind of like cream colored shade, just to kind of diffuse the edge of that purple so it's not such a harsh end to that shadow, you know, on my lid. So this is how that shadow blended out that purple. And I like it, it's a nice fade. So to create my cut crease today, I'm using my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas as usual. Just going in with a flat brush, making a little line where my eyeliner would go, looking up so I can find where I need to cut that crease. And I'm kind of doing one that has a little bit of like a swoop wing to it. I didn't want to do anything too, too dramatic, but I did kind of want to wing it out. So I'm just using a uh, wet wipe to just kind of create a nice clean edge for this look. Now I wanted to go into this beautiful green topper shade and as you can see it doesn't look like you can see much when I'm tapping it down because these are toppers but that green shade is absolutely gorgeous you guys. Now next to that I'm going into the purple uh, topper and I'm just tapping that right next to that green kind of blending out the edge making sure that it is nice and neat and with this being a pastel look of course it's not going to be extremely bold with color but I do like how these shadows are laying down now I wanted to try out that yellow because it has like a yellow and pink shift to it 
Like I said, it's something you definitely have to see in person. My camera is not doing it justice at all. It's very, very pretty, but I'm just using that on the outer portion of that cut crease. Now I wanted to create a little bit of, you know, depth for this look since it is so light. So I'm going in with my NYX liquid eyeliner and just creating a nice swoop type wing that's like the same shape as this eye look. I thought about doing a colored eyeliner, but I didn't want to take away from the pastel shades in this palette. Now for my face, I'm going in with my Good Molecules Priming Moisturizer. I love this moisturizer, you guys. It's so creamy and rich. It's just, it's amazing. <laughs> I love it as a moisturizer. You can use it, you know, for your primer as well as you like, but, or if you like, but I like to go in with a primer as well as this moisturizer. So I'm using my Professional uh, Primer today, but I'm focusing this only in the areas where I have like serious pore issues, which is right on the, you know, inner portion of my cheeks next to my nose, as well as my forehead and on my chin. Now to help with my dark circles today, I'm going in with my NYX HD Concealer. And I'm just using this before my foundation just to kind of help conceal some of those dark areas under my eyes as well as around my mouth. And I'm just using this instead of a color corrector. Now for foundation today, I'm using my NARS. This is the NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. And this foundation kind of looks a little bit orange when I first pull it, put it on. As you can see, it's a little bit rich, a little bit um, deep for my skin tone. But once I put on my concealer and powder and everything, it'll all come together. So no worries. This is a very nice foundation. As you can see, the coverage is amazing. Now for concealing and highlighting, I'm using my CoverGirl, and this is the True Blend Undercover Concealer. And I have, what shade is this? Some type of caramel, warm caramel, I think. <laughs> and I'm just going to be blending that out with a damp brush today. I wanted to make sure I got as much coverage as possible. So even though this concealer has serious coverage, I still wanted to go in with a brush just so I can keep as much of that coverage as possible today. And I think the coverage looks pretty, pretty good. Now for setting that concealer and my highlighted areas, I'm going in with my Becca Hydra Mist Powder. You guys know this is my absolute favorite loose powder right now. So I'm just using that to set all of those areas where I put that concealer down. And to set the rest of my face, I'm using my Sephora. This is the Micro Smooth Powder and I have the shade Deep. Just using a small fluffy brush just to kind of set all the other areas of my face. Now to bronze up just a little bit, I'm going in with my CoverGirl Full Spectrum Bronzer. This one is the shade Ebony, I believe. Yes, it is. And I'm just using that to bronze up a bit today. I like this bronzer. It's very, very nice. It's not, at first I thought it was gonna be too deep, but actually it works out very, very well for my skin tone. Now for blush and highlight, I decided to use this Juno & Co Bombshell um, Perfectionist palette that I just got. The blush, you guys, I love this color of blush. It is so, so pretty. I really, really love it. <laughs> I am happy about the blush in this palette. Now I said I wasn't going to use that super glittery pink highlighter on my face, but I thought I'd go ahead and use it just so that you can see how it looks on my skin tone and how it lays down. Now, there's definitely glitter in there, you guys. It's definitely glittery, but I wouldn't say it's not doable. If you're someone who kind of likes to shine and bling it out occasionally, 
then you might like it. And I think it went fairly well with this eye look since the eye look is so bright. Now I did go in with the other highlighter for my nose, um, bridging my nose and the tip of my nose because I really didn't want pink there. But you guys saw that highlighter was crazy. So for my lower lash line, I'm going into one of my LA Girl Shock Neon, Shockwave Neon Liners. And this one is in the shade Fresh, really pretty bright teal color. Now for my lower lash line, instead of going in with another one of the lighter pastels, I decided to just kind of smoke it out a little bit with that gray matte shade. I kind of like the fact that there's a gray in here. It's kind of different. Now for my inner corner pop, I'm going into this really, really light color here in the corner. Oh my gosh, you guys, that shadow. <laughs> well, you see it. You see it. I don't, I don't have to say anything about it. You see it. It is so freaking pretty. Look at that shimmer. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. So for lashes today, I'm going in again with my Ardell Double Ups, and these are 210. And this is how they look with this eye look. For my lips, I decided to go in with something kind of light and pastel since I was doing a pastel look with my eyes. This is one of my NYX Suede Lip Liners in the shade Run The World. It's like a beautiful lavender shade. And I decided to just go ahead and use this for my lipstick today. So I went ahead and filled in my lips completely with that liner. And I topped it off with this new Too Faced lip gloss that I got from BoxyCharm. It's called Two Night Stand. <laughs> Instead of One Night Stand, I guess it's Two Night Stand. And I actually really like it. It's very pretty. So to set this face, I'm just going to spray some of my MAC Fix Plus in Lavender. Love that lavender scent, you guys. And you guys know the MAC Fix Plus is perfect for setting your makeup for all day wear. And this is the look, you guys. I must say it's very, very different for me. Even though I do like loud, bright colors, I'm not really one for pastels. But I had a lot of fun creating this look. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!